In this video, I'm going to show you an easy method to verify the accuracy of the current shunts in the Johnson Viking 2 transmitter. For the video, we're going to concentrate on the plate and modulation shunts. We're going to monitor on a separate meter, comparing that to the Viking's panel meter. All right, we're going to start with the plate meter. So these are my test leads that are hooked to my power supply and current meter that we're going to compare against the Viking 2. So here's my little power supply. I have a Hioki milliamp meter hooked up. We're only going to test the Viking 2 up to about 200 milliamps and then we'll switch over to modulation and do the same. Here's the test setup. We have a Heathkit power supply, 0 to 30 volts. Have a multimeter set on the milliamp DC range. There is 50 ohms in series with the power that's being applied to the current shunt. I'm going to bring up my power supply and we are going to watch the panel meter and compare that to the milliamp meter. So I got the Viking 2 on its side, so it is a little bit difficult to shoot this footage. But you can see I've got the meter at approximately 100 milliamps. I compare that to my milliamp meter, we've got 99. Let's take it up to 200. So there's about 200 milliamps. And what do we got here? 199. So shunt one for plate appears to be intolerant. So let's go over to modulation. I moved my probes from shunt one to shunt two on the terminal board. Now it's very important that you do this testing on the terminal board direct across the shunts. If you try to do this across the meter terminals, you're gonna have some inaccuracy caused by the resistance of the wires. So back over to my setup. I am now on the modulation setting. I'm going to bring up my voltage. There is 100 milliamps on modulation. What do we got? About 95.3. I'm take this up to 200. Compare it. Almost 192 mils. So there is some inaccuracy on the modulation current shunt. So that can be adjusted by moving the nichrome wire in the terminal board. You can actually calibrate it that way or you can buy some precision resistors from Mauser Electronics and do away with these old nichrome shunts. So that's all there is to it. I'm going to post a diagram so you guys can make this little test setup yourself and check the accuracy of the shunts on your Johnson Viking 2. 